Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Smart TCG, and today I'm going to be going over Maridon, the deck that Anthony Perez used to get top eight at the most recent Portland Regional Championships. Now, Maridon is a card that gets a lot of talk because some people think it's really good and some people think it is not. And in my opinion, I think it's a lot better than people give it credit for. It has one of the most powerful abilities in the game with tandem units, basically allowing you to set up every single game and Photon Blaster, which is a relatively respectable attack. However, we have most recently seen the Regieleki variant seen success, but this is going to be the Flaffy Raichu one that saw success at the Portland Regional Championships. Shout out to Anthony for the top eight and the list, and I'm really excited to go over it. So today we're going to go over the list, and then we're going to hop into some games and show off exactly how the deck works. It's a lot better than people give it credit for, and I definitely think it deserves its spot in the metagame. So we have Tandem Unit here, one of the most powerful abilities put on a Pokemon reads once you turn it may search your deck for up to two basic lightning pokemon and put them onto your bench then you get to shuffle your deck and then photon blaster dealing 220 damage is relatively respectable as well being able to two shot most big pokemon and one shot a lot of the other small v's or ex's so pretty pretty respectable there for sure we have the Flaffy Engine instead of Regieleki, because it's pretty difficult to get to one-shot numbers with the Regieleki's, and honestly, the Regieleki's are kind of a liability to be sitting on the board, especially against decks that play Sky Seal Stone, like decks like Gardevoir EX and also Lost Zone Toolbox, those are basically sitting for prizes for those matchups, which is pretty, pretty rough. So having Flaffy instead is actually really nice. With the Dynamotor, once during your turn, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. And to kind of make up for that lost extra damage, we have Raichu V. Since we can't hit 300 plus with the Maridon, we're going to be trying to do that with Raichu V's Dynamic Spark. You may discard any amount of Lightning Energy from this Pokemon, and the attack does 60 damage for each card discarded in this way. So you can hit way over 300 damage and since this deck plays cards like the electric generator you're going to be able to flood the board with lightning energies on top of it you have your staple raikou v in the maridon deck a card that really should be in the pretty much any maridon deck just being able to use fleet footed help with that consistency being able to draw a card and it also provides a really really great turn one or turn two attack lightning rondo doing more damage based on how many pokemon are on both sides of the field on top of this, we also have our Magnezone V-Star here with that Electro Star. This is going to be a great counter to decks like Gardevoir and Lost Zone Toolbox if they're not able to get down Manaphy, or if you can boss his orders and take the Manaphy out and they're not able to get it back, you can use that Electro Star, which does 90 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. On top of this, you also have Magnetic Grip as well that deals 180 damage and allows you to search for two item cards, which is a relatively respectable attack. This is the rest of the list here. It's going to be relying on the arvin engine which is fantastic being able to search your deck for an item in a tool card is great because tool cards are not considered items anymore so you can actually get one which is really really good because we got four seal stone in the deck along with sky seal as well to help out in those v star and v max matchups and then the four seal stone just to help out in general consistency so this is the list once again shout out anthony for it and congratulations on their placement and yeah let's hop into some games show off how it actually works out it's one of the coolest decks in the format and it's actually a joy to play let's hop into it Alrighty, everyone so hopping into our game here looks like we did win the coin flip so we are going to be going first we got ourselves a right you start pretty solid for us right you reads if you go first you can use this attack during your first turn so deck for a lightning energy card and attach it to this poke on the shelf of your deck so since we're going first we're actually going to be able to use that which is actually pretty cool so i'm um, gonna draw for turn see what we get here unfortunately no maridon however it's not the end of the world um we can go attach here, and then I guess we could technically threaten the Magnezone. Um, but I guess I guess we can put it down. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then we'll use the fast charge. Going to be able to draw a energy out of the deck and attach it to one of our Pokemon. Specifically, has to be Raichu, actually. So yeah, we're going to attach it to Raichu there. And we got ourselves two energies. So pretty aggressive turn one uh, for us. Just getting those two energy basically means that we're going to be able to take a KO on pretty much anything that they throw at us this next turn. Um, and yeah, so we'll see what we're able to do. I mean, best case scenario is we just use Electro Star, but um, we'll see. Yeah, there's VIP Pass. Zacian, Radiant Greninja, also hitting the field here. Got themselves a Mew as well. Yeah, so pretty pretty solid setup for them. I mean, just getting their research is huge. Um, and they're probably going to be looking for that third Gralt to get down on the field here. There's the retreat into the Mew. And we'll see that mysterious tail being used. Kind of interesting their aggro getting Zacian up. They must think that they can get turn two rare candy KO, which is reasonable. Definitely something that they can do. I, and I guess they're going to hold on to it. Whoa, okay. So I can turn to Electro Star if I actually hit the pieces. Um, 
Okay, so I really don't need to lose this energy. Um, I could just go boss KO, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I really just want to be able to... I, I guess getting rid of their consistency is what, just worthwhile in general. So let's just go research. Hopefully hit Electro Star. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to do it this turn, which is fine. I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily expecting to do it this turn, so my hopes weren't too high. Um, all right, so let's go grabbing Maridon. Let's bench down Maridon. Use tandem units. Let's unit up here. Get ourselves a Maridon. And I guess we can get ourselves a Raikou. I don't think that's terrible. Just getting ourselves a Raikou here seems pretty good. It's a great attacker to be able to rush them early. Take quick and easy KOs, which will definitely be important in this early stages of the match. So I think we'll put both of these down here. Um, getting the second Mareep down is just kind of what's important as well. Um, and we can use that dynamic spark able to do up to 180 here but obviously we don't want to do 180 um i think we'll get rid of one off the active and then we'll take the ko here doing 60 damage plenty plenty all right surprise there's the electric generator okay so that's pretty good so zation gets thrown up here that's if they don't plan to attack with it that's really risky but if they got rare candy guarded then that makes sense for sure they definitely want to do that <laughs> so We'll see. There comes Curlia hitting the board. Oh, the rare candy in the Gardevoir. All right, so we got ourselves a game here. The big thing is going to be getting enough to KO, which this I'm curious what this is. What is this card? There's the refinement. It's discarding a psychic energy. They need a little bit more here to be able to get that KO here. They're doing 91, 20, 150. Here comes Psychic Embrace. All right. Let's see how close they get. This is going to be close. Oh, boy. No shot they have it, right? 90, 20, 50, 180. They're up to 180. Oh, boy. I don't know if they have it. <laughs> oh. They chose not to attach it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We've survived. <laughs> okay. Um, That is a relief. All right, so now we're in a good spot. Uh, I, I could even just Magnezone V-Star both of these and take them out. And I go down to three, then I just go KO, KO. And I, I think I win that way, actually. So um, let's go. Um, Ardvin grabbing herself Ultra Ball. And let's go Sky Seal. Let's go discard, discard. Seems fine. Grabbing ourselves Magna Zone V Star. Evolve. Dynamotor. Attach. Um. I guess we can go Beach Court then Electro Star. Yeah, let's go Beach Court then Electro Star. Alright. Retreat. Into Magna Zone. Because I just want to cut their consistency more than anything. So I think this is just better. Generator. Alright, there's two. Sick. So now I can pretty much knock out whatever I want next turn. I think we're going to attach here mainly because it just gives us the free retreat. Because uh, we have free retreat, so we just get to draw a card. And even if they bump the stadium, we can still work around that pretty nicely. And then, all right, Electro Star, V Star. And there is the concession as we're going to be able to cut off Curlia and also Ralts, pretty much making it so that they weren't going to be able to draw anything. So that was the first game there. Pretty easy versus the Gardevoir V Star deck or EX deck. EX, right? Yeah, EX. Anyways, let's get into the next one. Alrighty, everyone, so hopping into the next one. Looks like we're going to be going up against some version of Lost Box here. Now, we have our Magnezone V in the active paired up with Nest Ball, which Nest Ball pretty much just means with Maridon's tandem unit that we're going to be able to get entirely set up. So we're going to get the Maridon down and then use our tandem unit here. Uh, I think we're going to get ourselves another Maridon and a Mareep, and then we can use that other Maridon to get ourselves a Raikou and another Mareep here. So... Really, really good start for us. Going to use that tandem unit once more. One of the cool things is that one Maridon pretty much means you get to set up the entire board, which is just incredibly powerful um, for a deck like this. Now, I do have a Flaffy in the deck along within the hand. So, yeah, we can put down the second one here. Let's go there. Um, and then I guess I could attach here as well. I guess I could threaten Magnezone. Um, I also need a way to re potentially retreat this if they marry me. I guess we can just put this here. Yeah, I guess just putting this here is fine. And then I can go research after that. Seems okay. Um, and then I'll just pass it off to them here. So yeah, pretty good start. Can't really complain. I got my switch out in hand along with Flaffy. So looking pretty good 
Uh, and we'll see exactly what they're able to do this turn. There's the nest ball. All right. There's Manaphy. Okay, yeah. So forcing the Manaphy there is very good. So just even attaching the energy forces Manaphy, which is sick. So there's a Nest Ball getting himself another Comfy hitting the board there. And we're going to see that Flower Selecting be used. All right. So yeah, not exactly sure what version of Lost Unbox this is just yet. I'm going to assume it's Turbo. Um... But we'll see. All right, there's the escape room. I think we'll just give them a ride on here. That seems fine. Put that up there. Another flower selecting. All right. Got tossed away there. All right, a Clara got thrown away. Okay, that's good for us. That's good. That's good. All right, and there's Colorus, the experiment being used. Should be able to cram turn one, you would think, right? Losing, Mir losing a Mirage Gate feels pretty bad, but it's okay for them. There's the energy. I assume we'll see the cram. Are they going into the... Oh, they're just retreating to waste the energy in the discard, I think. Interesting. Okay. So, there's the pass. All right, cool. Um, let's draw for turn, put that down, and I think we can just research one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's the switch cart as well, which is great. Um, we can just use Dynamotor here. I think we're going to go into Raikou and just start poking with that. We get the first KO, which is great. Also, getting to remove a Comfy is really, really important as well. So, we're going to go there. Let's evolve into the other Flaffy. We can use our switch cart to go into the Raikou, use that fleet footed, allow us to draw. One extra card here. It looks like it's a boss's orders. That's pretty good because I might potentially want to use that to chase down something like the Manaphy. Big reason is, is that they're already down one Clara, which means that even if they cram me this next turn, I might just go boss's orders and knock out Manaphy because that's going to force them to find their last Clara to be able to get their Manaphy back, which if they don't find it, then we can just simply use our V-Star power to wipe two small things off the board. So I actually kind of like this scenario for me here. I actually think that... Uh, we're in a pretty good spot, especially with that boss's orders, to be able to chase down that Manaphy. Because we are just trying to use that Electro Star at some point. So yeah, it, it is the Turbo Variant. So the down goes the Four Seal Stone, which must mean that they're probably trying to save it for save to Sky Seal at some point. I'm not sure. Or unless they might have just Flower Selecting into Colorus and Seal Stone, which would be pretty rough in general. So, alright, there's another Comfy getting thrown away. That's got to mean that they have the other Comfy in hand, because I don't think they would just run off one comfy for the rest of the game, but I could be wrong. There's Cram hitting the board. All right. But yeah, nice thing about Raikou is that we're technically drawing two cards a turn instead um, of just the one. There's the Halucha. That's fine. That's all we wanted on the bench. Because now we can still Magnus on two things pretty easily, so that's good. 10 there. Where's the other 10 going? Oh, they're putting damage there. Interesting. Okay. So maybe they're trying to set up Ogre. I'm not sure though. Because like the 10 here wouldn't actually make sense because 210, you'd still need 5 energy, right? So that's what I'm curious about. Um, all right. There comes Cram. Thrown into the active spot and we'll see that spit innocently taking the 110 onto the break you there. All right. So I think we're just going to use Fleet Footed first to draw a card. That's Arvin. All right, um, I think we'll just use boss's orders. Let's bring up that Manaphy, we'll attach right here. I think we just use our Lightning Rondo, take the KO. All right, so now we do force Clara. We, they, they have to have Clara in hand now, but they have to dig for it, which means they can't Colorus this turn, which also means that um, they probably cannot Sableye this turn, or, or at least it's gonna be more difficult for them to go Clara plus Sableye. So, that's important for us for sure. All right, there's Flower. Escape rope getting thrown away. All right. Yeah, because if we just get off Electro Star, we just probably win. Um, there's another Cram. 
Colorus. Oh, they didn't have it. Okay, so as long as they don't have a second Manaphy, we're fine. They just can't have a second Manaphy. As long as they don't have the second Manaphy, we'll be able to Electro Star for two prizes, which is great. Because they have to retreat into Cramorant, which puts the Kofi on the bench. And since the Halucha is there... Now, if the Halucha just wasn't there, it would have been much better for them. But since they benched the Halucha, now they're putting themselves in a really awkward spot. And like now they're basically just surrendering two prizes, which does not feel good. So, um... All right. Lightning Rondo taking the KO. Cool, cool, cool. Two prizes. It's fine. We're going to put Magnazone. We'll be able to use our Flaffy Power Point of our Maridons here for sure. Let's go Dynamotor. Powering up the Maridon. One. Two. All right. Go here. Get our Magnezone V Star. We can evolve. And then we'll be able to use that Electro Star for the KO. I really don't know exactly what I want to do with the rest of this hand here. I could Arv him for an item card. I guess we might as well do that right now. Let's get ourselves a generator and an EXP share just in case they find a way to KO us. Seems fine. Use Jet Generator. Get ourselves an energy. Um, we'll go attach there. XP there. I could tandem unit, but I don't really want anything out of the deck right now. I'm um, just Electro Star for the KO. Gonna put 90 damage on this. Kind of unfortunate you can't knock out the active with something like this, but you know it's still pretty cool. Um, all right, take a prize. There's one. Right on a particularly super useful second one. The big thing is, is that unless they have Dragonite plus Choice Belt, they're not gonna be able to knock out this Magnezone. Um, which is good for us, right? If they were able to do 20 more, they could maybe go Sky Seal Stone Dragon. I take the KO, but even if they did that, uh, I think we could probably just find a knockout with some like Raichu. So um, I don't think it. I don't think it would end up mattering too much. So all right, let's see what they got here. There is the Sableye. However, they're oh yeah, they're at 10. Okay, so they just need energy. All right, still very winnable for them if they have Sky Steel Dragonite. That's for sure. It's very winnable with the Sky Steel Dragonite. It looks like they weren't going to be able to do it. So, looks like we were able to take that game and take down Lost Box. So, Lost Box is a pretty okay matchup there, as you might have seen. And it looks like we are able to get there. But anyways, if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support. As always, I appreciate all the love on the videos. And let me know what you think of the deck in the comments. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. This is Smart TCG, and I'll speak with you again soon. Peace out. If you're interested in improving your game, I do offer coaching on Metafy. I'm one of the most successful players in the entire world, ranked in the top 20 worldwide, and I know what it takes to get there. If you're just interested about learning what coaching is, I do also have a free consultation where we can kind of go over exactly how I coach, um, like some of the plans that might be best for you, and what we need to do moving forward to make sure that you are as successful as possible. Just is going to be kind of a time for us to get to know each other and kind of go over over exactly what coaching is but I have all of my sessions here along with training plans and if you have any more questions don't hesitate to shoot me a message on Medify or any of my socials below but just wanted to put that out there if you are interested in improving your game I do offer coaching on Medify and if you have any questions anything like that all those links will be in the description all right thank you so much